Philip Enriquez here for Say What You Like podcast. And with this time, I'd like to share a little story with you. Earlier this week, I was at the supermarket and somebody saw me with some of my Cowboys gear on in line and asked me, hey, you think Dak Prescott is for real? So I looked back at the guy and was like, well, of course I do. What makes you think he isn't? And the guy says things like, you know, he's just a rookie and you see a lot of rookies go downhill after one, you know, one simple season, they get hot, and then the next thing you know, they're not. And he just looks like that kind of guy. And I ask him, well, you know, what makes you think that? And he says, well, look at guys like RG3 and Vince Young. And I said, yeah, but do you watch football? I mean, do you know the difference between guys like Dak Prescott and Robert Griffin and Vince Young? I mean, let's take a look at it. This rookie quarterback is set up to succeed for years. He is going to be, I predict, he is going to be one of the all-time greats. I mean, he's going to be a quarterback, a top five quarterback in this league for the next 10 to 15 years. And, you know, some evidence that would support my theory would be take a look at other rookie quarterbacks. Everyone wants to compare Dak Prescott to this guy or that guy, but let's, let's compare him to some winners. What does a guy like Dak Prescott have in common with someone like, say, Tom Brady or Russell Wilson or Ben Roethlisberger? What do they all have in common? What do they all have in common as rookies, I should say? And that's, <laughs> they were both gifted by starting their NFL careers in great systems. All these teams had consistent coaches. For as much as much flack as people have given Jerry Jones through the years for holding on to Jason Garrett, he stood consistent with Garrett and his message. You know, Brady, he had Bill Belichick, who, again, he's a standard of consistency. At the time Ben Roethlisberger was coming up, they had Bill Cowher, who was one of the most longest tenured coaches in the league at that time. And they follow that up with a coach who's been coaching for, what, almost 10 years, if not over 10 years, in Mike Tomlin. So these guys were, were born into great systems. Russell Wilson, Tom Brady, they had great defenses, great teams. A guy like Roethlisberger had a Hall of Fame running back like Jerome Bettis to take the pressure off of him, to let him grow as a rookie where the team didn't need to ride on the shoulders of Ben Roethlisberger. It allowed him to grow at a comfortable pace. And this is very similar to somebody like Dak Prescott in the situation that he's in with the Dallas Cowboys this year. And then it made me think, at, you know, did this guy have a point? You know, this guy at the supermarket have a point? Could he be a Robert Griffin III or a Vince Young? But I looked at that situation and thought to myself, there's no way. These types of quarterbacks were completely different in style than that of a Dak Prescott. I mean, these guys were more specialty players, guys that would wing it down the field, you know, kind of do their own thing. Vince Young, you know, he, he didn't get along with Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher was a coach that is very hard to get along with. It's, it's his way or the highway. And Vince Young, it was the same thing. It was his way or the highway. And they, they were bound to fall apart after early rookie success. You look at a guy like RG3, and he, he wanted to be Aaron Rodgers. He didn't even want to be what Mike Shanahan saw him. He wanted success, but he wanted success his way. He wasn't happy running the offense of Mike Shanahan, which, at least for one season, was winning football. So I look at a guy like Dak, and He's just going to go in there and do what he has to do. He's not concerned about numbers. He's not concerned about doing things his way. He's concerned about quarterbacking a winning team. And he has more in common with a quarterback like Tom Brady or Russell Wilson or Ben Roethlisberger. All quarterbacks who we know are headed for the Hall of Fame. Now, I'm not putting Dak, I'm not trying to enshrine him in the Hall of Fame yet, but his trajectory follows along more closely with those quarterbacks than, say, one of these one-and-dones, one-hit runders like RG3 and Vince Young. And that's why I have the confidence in a player like Dak Prescott. And I think the Dallas Cowboys have a bright future, not only this year, but for the next 
10 years down the road. 